Hello, thank you for joining in this quick overview of our address dashboard and how this dashboard can help your school make better decisions to improve student outcomes. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. The purpose of this dashboard is to mainly identify students who are at risk of either failing classes or are not meeting other key elements. It gives you a quick snapshot of all the metrics that are important to your school. You can pull together your grades, attendance, discipline, assessment data, and much, much more. And this is what this dashboard makes a perfect solution for small to medium sized school. And it is ideal for the leadership team, principals, discipline team, or academic team, as well as individual teachers who want to track the most critical data for students. So let's go over the layout of the dashboard. On the top, we have all the filters such as school, reporting term, grade level, homeroom, and so on. Once we apply any filter, the data in the main section will change accordingly. Below that is our main view. The first numbers are the percentages and the total number of students where you can qu quickly visualize the high level information for each address category. I can easily see that 45% of the students are failing one or more classes, 33% of students have under 3.0 GPA, and 56% of students have an average daily attendance below my benchmark of 90%. Then we have the disciplines and suspensions, uh, and we can add any number of different categories uh, if needed. Next, we have the breakdown averages for the selected group. The default numbers are the, are the grade level. However, we have the option to switch it to the gender as well. Now I can see that 41% of freshmen are failing one or more courses. 48% of sophomores are failing one or more courses. 49% of my juniors and 45% of my seniors. Additionally, you can see the numbers of students that fall in a given range. So in this case, 3% of students are failing at least 6 classes, and 3% of students are failing in 5 classes, and so on. And the final section at the bottom is the student list. We also have applied the color legends based on different benchmarks for, for on-track, near-off-track, and the off-track students. The other great thing about this tool is that we can drill down any numbers simply by clicking on it. So for instance, let's say you want to know the average daily attendance for freshmen who are failing at least one course. For that, you can select the grade level group and then click on the ninth grade. And with two clicks, you can quick, quickly see the average attendance for the selected group. Now you also have the option to drill down the data further, for example, to filter out the students who have less than 50% attendance, click on that range under the distribution and at the bottom you will see all of those students. Now for, for further analysis, hover over the number and under the tooltip, it gives you the specific information. Uh, so if I hover over the number under the grades, it will show me all the classes that this student is failing in. Hovering over the attendance will give me the breakdown of excused and unexcused totals and, and so on. This is again a very quick overview of the address dashboard. I also would like to mention that we have created several great dashboards to track specific information like student behaviors, attendance information, and assessment data. We can also create any custom dashboard for your unique needs. Just reach out to us at support at puredata.io or check our website for more information at www.puredata.io. Thank you again and looking forward to connecting with you soon.